This isn't exactly much better. What's this? Such a strange doll. Yep. Of course there's a ticking clock. How is there a tick if the clock's not moving? The shelf is too high up. I can't reach. I hear that, girl. These are all about things I don't understand. It's a diary. There's something scribbled on the cover. Little goody two shoes? Oh, it's story time, kids. I once lived in a small village when I was young. My youth was spent in hard labor and cold, sleepless nights. I often dreamt about a better future. One that could fill my stomach with luxurious sweets and thick, expensive steaks. One day, I heard an old woman talking about a strange rumor. She said that a certain someone had been, gather had been granting wishes in the wood to anyone who dared summon a certain name. Someone who wasn't quite human. Uh. What happened? Yeah, well, let's go follow the dolly, I guess. Can I go back and save? There's no longer a door. It's moving like water. Up, up. Oh, okay. We're fine. Looks just like a normal mirror. Is that a pumpkin? That's a sleeping pumpkin. Is this pumpkin snoring? Place to save. You're not asleep. What does a pumpkin sound like? Uh, looking for something? What do you mean? Uh, okay. Oop. Excuse me. She's looking this way. Oh no, look away before you get turned into stone. Uh. Sleep and she'll or she'll get you. Uh, okay. Um, my hand. Well, let's not touch that again. It's closed shut. The doorknob is stuck. Oh, I can run. Why can I run? Wrong buttons everywhere. No. Mm -hmm. 
blinded as sacrifice for those in dismay, stolen by the just childish, childish play, right and left, taken by the hand, our request is your demand. Did a Did a door just open? A door opened! A door opened. This isn't the wrong bloody key. Menacing or anything? Uh. I want to see it once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-colored irises, accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me, and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories forged in a few... Are a few memories, forged encounters, which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence, recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong? I wonder. They are certainly not mine, and yet, here they dwell inside this small room where I sit. Ever remember, ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises which we played once and again a, and a thousand times, I know words, I can say them, has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. And yet, I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall. Once they seemed to advance further and further, with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know ever existed. On the other side of the gap I found a reflection, my reflection. Silky brown hair covered my brat, my brat, my back braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person that I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was... Not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside dwelled take two life dwelled inside my body, and yet as I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my own room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Such a sad story. <laughs> Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant where ignoring the crying an eyeball to the optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed. I said that so well. Do I... Oops.
Something shiny happened. Each in each jar floats half of an, of an unusually big arbal eyeball, staining the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. An eye for an eye. What? The fuck is a pumpkin charge? I want to see the light. Once again. There's something in there. Oh good, we can just leave. Did I unlock the other door as well? It did. This one's a little more pleasant. <laughs> Pleasant. <coughs> mm. Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? Ah. Rebirth. Painting of an elderly woman th surrounded by thorns. Grasping the dagger buried into her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Poor oh, girl. A woman sits on a throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Why do I need pumpkin charms? The painting of a woman lying in the bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. A girl joins her own two hands as her hair buried, burns in crimson flames. The painting of an important looking female aristocrat surrounded by, by various young girls desperately clinging to her. <laughs> Ooh, pardon. Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? I did not. I don't need a lot of pumpkin. I wouldn't mind having my insides scooped out as long as I could become a yummy pumpkin pie. Thanks for letting me know that. Reunited in a golden room, various smile women witness the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Such a horrible painting. Skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. It's been painted over. The dim line overflows. A ghostly pale girl sits on a well-carved wooden chair, wearing nothing but an airy white veil. Various women engage in a heated celebration dancing over the corpses of numerous men. Grasping the dagger buried in each other, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her lips. Um. The painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Are we... Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. Hey little girl, get back here! Huh? Excuse me, miss. Yes? Could you please show me what you got there? What should I do? 
Uh... All right, just be careful. Be taking this. Thank you very much. Oh, please give it back. Even though I'm holding one in that image just now. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything. Just please give it back. How generous of you. I'll uh, gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take the woman's eye, the woman's left eye, if you want to live. Resist, and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? I didn't realize there were pictures on the other side we couldn't see. I don't know what to do. Alright kids, I think we're gonna pluck a poor woman's eye out to already missing one. Who's already missing one? Mmm words. Oops, I'm hitting a wrong key. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Annalise. Ah, uh, whoops. Well, shit. 